Saving your SOLIDWORKS data into 3D Experience is pretty simple. We're going to walk through that process, explain a couple of things, and add our recommendations. After installing the design with SOLIDWORKS Connector, start SOLIDWORKS from the Welcome app. This turns on the add-in and connects it to 3D Experience automatically. After that, you can launch SOLIDWORKS from your Start menu or your desktop shortcut if you want. Now go ahead and create or open files as you always would. This is your desktop SOLIDWORKS, but now it's connected to 3D Experience. Here I'm just opening a file that's on my local hard drive. Notice that Open from 3D Experience button there. That's a toggle between the Windows Open dialog and the one for 3D Experience. Now I want to open the top level assembly so I can use the quick filter to find and open it. So to save this assembly to the cloud, just go to File, Save to 3D Experience. Control alt s is there if you're a keyboard shortcut fan, or the Save to 3D Experience button is also on the toolbar. Pretty much what we've always done, it's just a slightly different command to specify that we're saving to the platform. Now here you can verify which collaborative space you'll be saving into and change it if needed. A collaborative space is just an area on your platform, so it's on the cloud, where data is stored and managed. It's what we call CAD aware, so it knows all the relationships between the CAD files that are stored there. Think of collaborative spaces as secure vault areas where the security context is set by controlling who has access to the content inside it. Usually you'll want the default common space that everyone has access to and then a design space that controls access based on permissions. This way you can ensure that the design work is securely accessed only by the design team. Check with your platform admin, the setup video for storing SOLIDWORKS data, or the getting started guide if you need more help in creating that design space. To organize your data, go to select bookmarks. You can create a folder-like structure here to help you find and open designs later. I like bookmarks way more than folders though. They're more flexible and can be moved around. I recommend checking out more of the content we have on bookmarks so you can really get the most out of them. Now that's really all there is to it as far as saving your files to 3D Experience. While the save completes, I have access to SOLIDWORKS still and can keep working. As you see, the connection between SOLIDWORKS and 3D Experience is tightly integrated in the user interface. There's an additional view though of 3D Experience over in the task pane. Click on the blue compass and my session has all the detail and tools for you as you start working with your data. The status column indicates whether the open file matches the one saved in 3D Experience or if it's been modified, or even if it's never been saved in 3D Experience. You can see this column is updating for us as the save completes. The lock status will show you if it's not locked, locked by you, or locked by another user. Whoever locks a file can make changes to it. Other users can use the file but are prevented from modifying it. There's also revision and is latest revision. We'll get into how that's used in the revised video. Now that we know how to save files, let's see how to open one and make a change. We'll do that by adding a component to this assembly that was already stored in 3D Experience by another user. Now we're back in SOLIDWORKS in a new session after closing that file. Just go to File, Open, and use that toggle to open from 3D Experience this time. We'll go to the bookmarks like you would a folder, and the quick filters are even available to use, just like opening locally. For a quick check on the 3D experience information, you can go over to the Feature Manager and expand the Lifecycle columns. Same four properties are here, and you can even lock or unlock a file directly from that list. In fact, since we're going to make a change to the assembly, let's lock it now. Now only I can make a change to that file. The same insert components command is used to add files stored either locally or from 3D Experience. Again, bookmarks are going to help us find what we're looking for. And you can even search within bookmarks with any of the properties of the file. This lock indicates that someone else has that file locked. No problem though, we're not needing to make any changes to that file. If you have more design work to do, you can save locally with Save to this PC or Control S. 
And when you're ready to put your changes on the cloud storage, use Save to 3D Experience and it will update what was previously stored on the cloud. Now I'm going to use this Unlock Files After Saving checkbox to allow others to modify it once the save is complete. Now as we see here, the assembly is now updated in 3D Experience and unlocked. And you can access this same data from your browser back in the 3D Experience platform. The Content tab has the web version of Bookmark Editor with additional tools and commands to help you manage your data. To view any content, simply drag it over into the 3D Play app. So if you want a safe, secure cloud storage solution that's CAD aware, you're all set. You're now ready to collaborate with others and access this data from anywhere.